Hello. Hello. Welcome to my humble abode. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you guys? Quite good, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Um, how long have you been living in New York? Uh, 16 years since I moved here when I was eight. Wow. Yeah. Oh, uh, most surprising thing about New York when you first moved here? Mm, I expected America in general and New York City to be like this magical place filled with weird creatures, but yeah. it's just other people, other families, and <laughs> you people who became friends. Movies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I want to know what's the most fun, sensual thing you have in this apartment? Um, I'm a big hair scalp guy, so I have this uh, this little head oh, massage thing. Oh, I love it. I can help healthy. you out a little bit, actually. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what do you do for a living? Ooh, this is nice. Uh, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Spoiled Media. Oh. Uh, we create content for millennials for New York City for people to do better things. This is, I feel like goosebumps right now and tingles. <laughs> is it uncomfortable? <laughs> no. I love it. <laughs> why, why the name Spoiled? Because millennials are called Spoiled and we wanted to just take that, flip it and say it's not a bad thing because there's a lot of cool things you can do in New York today. Right. So. You should be an expert on this. Like three best places to spoil yourself in New York. Um, hmm. I'm going to go with Ed's Lobster. Yeah. Uh, they have delicious lobster rolls. I would go to 235th Rooftop Bar. It's, you can see Empire State Building is beautiful. Right, and there's yeah. this little spot called Holy Donuts. All right. Uh, it's you, you go in, you pick a donut, you pick ice cream, and they make a sandwich for you. Ooh, la la, sweetness. It's, it's, it's it's, it's a <laughs> big sweet. sweet tooth overload, yeah. but that's my thing. Now I need to see, what's the most expensive thing you own? Um, gonna be my laptop. All right. Um, how much money is enough for a good living in uh, New York City? I would say 40 to 50,000 a year. Okay, so that's sufficient. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, this is a lot of, a lot of personality on there it. There is. Some Why stickers. did you pick the Batman? So this just looked cool. My friend did all of these stickers, and this is from an artist. I forgot her name, but she, she does a lot of cool lines, and right. RUU is a cool message. I like it. Uh, what's the most hilarious story you ever heard about money spending in New York? So me and a friend, this is personal, me and a friend got we were drunk and we took a Uber when it was like 3x the charge right. and it was like a five block ride that turned out to be like $60. Oh. It was bad. Uh, I regretted it. Lacy the, and just throwing, the throwing next, money out. The next morning I woke up, looked at the receipt and I'm like, oh, that was a bad decision. <laughs> uh, uh, what makes you calm down after a long day at work? Um, probably sleep, but I just like, <laughs> I just I just stop let's working. Let's sleep together for a moment. <laughs> uh, one advice to stay sane in New York. Uh, have a good social group. Have friends. Have yeah. hobbies that you have outside of normal grind. So this is my bad. I'm gonna throw myself down there with you. <laughs> uh, okay, so New York is the worst city in the world if you're uh, if you're close-minded. If you're close-minded. Uh, most addictive thing about New York is um, the nightlife. There's right. a lot going on. New York is most fucked up when? When you're fucked up. <laughs> okay. Now, <laughs> you're going to have to be there. And I I'm, I'm also want to know, uh, one thing you don't show to your roommates? Uh, probably these little handcuffs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I, I'd love to stay with... No. <laughs> but the alarm is off, so we don't have time for that. Next time. <laughs> yes, next time. Have a good enjoy one. Day, guys. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>